The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You will also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. All right, welcome to another episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to start writing tests for our code. Um, so, you know, in the previous episode, we talked about the philosophy behind testing on keeping everything simple, um, using the default framework that comes in Rails. Um, in this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit more about philosophy, but we'll also actually do some practical test writing. So the first test we're going to write is our controller test. And the reason why I start with the controller test is because um, you know, the, there's a lot going on in the controller. Like it's actually taking a request and responding with some kind of response. Um, so let's take a look at the post controller over here. As you can see, the job of the index action here is to uh, load the post from the model, uh, the, using the model to load the post and then saving in the instance variable and returning some kind of response. So the simplest test we can write is uh, um, to test the response and if it's returning the right kind of response. Uh, so in this case here, I have the post controller test, which was generated when I generated a controller. Um, so I could write the name of the test should be something like index action should be success. So um, that's a simple test. And then what I can do here is I'm going to do get index. So the get is the HTTP verb uh, and the index is basically the index action. Uh, and the, the simplest test is assert, response, success. All right, so let's uh, try and run the test and see what happens. So now uh, I'm in my console over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type rake. And rake is going to basically run our test. And as you can see here, uh, the test has passed. And we have one uh, assertion that we tested. Now, just by writing this one test, I'll show you what it did. Uh, so uh, I'm going into my post controller here and let's say for example that um, you know like I broke something right so I'm going to go into my view and over here I am going to uh, instead of using post I'm going to add two s's over here so I mistype my instance variable name and I do a rake just to test we'll see that you know now it's failed just by writing three lines of code. Uh, and, you know, it just already stopped us from writing any kind of typos in our, in, in our views. You know, like, it, just by doing that, it's already saved us a ton of time, right? Um, so having, you know, a simple test uh, can go a really, really long way. Um, you know, and the reason why I'm stressing on this is because I've worked with a lot of teams where, um, you know, the boss or whoever is going to say, forget about writing tests. And what always happens 100% of the time is that the project takes longer than uh, it used to, like it, it, to, to do a certain feature. It takes longer because now we don't know what's working and what's not working. And so writing a simple test can go a really, really long way. There's another uh, thing that people talk about a lot, which is to test first or to test after. Some people like to write the test first. So for example, they'll come into here, they'll write test, and then basically they'll implement, they'll do the actual implementation. Um, but for me, that doesn't always work. It really depends on what I'm doing. Um, if I am doing something that I already know, I've done a thousand times, I'm probably gonna write the test first. But if I'm writing a new piece of code that I've never written before and I, or I don't understand or I'm learning something, I'm not going to write the test because I wouldn't know how to start writing the test. So in this case, you know, it, it, that pretty much covers between the last episode and this episode, pretty much covers my ideologies on testing, right? Um, and, you know, I just portrayed to you guys very quickly uh, why writing tests can be very good for your project. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of money uh, at the end of the day. And if somebody tells you otherwise, then um, if you have a choice, you know, like push for writing tests or just don't work with them because 
they are setting you up for failure. People who are not writing tests and, and who are your stakeholders or and they're forcing you to, to not write tests, they are doing you a disservice as an engineer or as a programmer. So that's my personal opinion. Um, and so whenever you can, always have tests for your code so you can sleep better. All right, so now uh, I'm going to um, continue writing some tests. So let's see what happens right now. Uh, what does it mean when we're uh, returning the, you know, the response success? Well, success means the controller is returning a 200 in HTTP. Uh, we can also return a redirect. So if I do redirect, assert response redirect, and I hit rake, you're going to see it fail as well. There we go. So now I'm just going to leave it as a response success. So this page we know now works. So the next thing we can do is we can write um, the test for the new action and also the show action. So let's keep our test simple for now um, and use what we learn and to implement uh, you know, our other actions. So test uh, new should be success, do, end, and then we're going to do get new and assert response success. Rake. And so basically, this is now going to test our new action. And um, so let's see. All right. So because we intentionally, um, you know, messed up our, um, you know, thing over here, it failed. But now let's put that back. So now this should work. So if I do rake, this should now work just fine. All right. So we have two passing tests. So now we got the new action. So let's go ahead and implement the uh, show action as well. That's going to be slightly different. So test uh, show should be success. Do end. Uh, so I'm going to start up my rail server as well, just to show you guys, uh, you know, what page we're testing. So, you know, because you guys are new to this um, or you're on a refresher course. Uh, so let me go ahead to the local host page. All right, so the show page is when we click here. And as you can see, we can see the post here and it's just rendering a success. But we need a post, uh, you know, in order to reference to go to the show page. So how do we do that? Well, we can use what's called fixtures. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, a post here. Uh, you know, I'm going to call it hello world post. And then for the title, I'm going to call it hello world. And for the body, uh, it can be anything. So anything. I'm going to delete this one here. So, you know, just so we have this uh, hello world post. Uh, and so the way we can use a fixture is in our test, what we can do is we can do post equals fixtures, hello world. And then what we can do is get um, show ID post ID. Assert response success. So now I'm going to head over into my terminal over here and do a rake. So as you, I'm going to move this up for you guys. Do rake. Ah, I see. I. Uh, I shouldn't be using fixtures. I should be using posts. This is the test helper that's going to load our fixtures from here. So I'm going to do rake. And uh, this should work. So we should all be to be successful tests. There we go. There uh, we have just tested our get actions. Um, you know, this episode is starting to get a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, just to so you guys understand uh, the concepts behind testing, I'm going to be referencing the guide to testing Rails application documentation a lot because there's a lot in here. Um, but the great thing is everything is here in one page. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, in the next episode, we're going to be continuing writing more tests and I'm going to introduce you guys to more testing concepts uh, as we go. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.